Welcome to another edition of the Mizzou Minute. I'm Todd Palmer, beat writer for the Kansas City Star. And uh, we're going to talk a little bit about the Florida game and looking forward now to Georgia. Uh, with respect to the quarterback situation, Matty Mock is going to be suspended for the third straight game. The indefinite suspension um, appears to be just that indefinite at this point. Um, there's no timetable for Matty's return. Um, you know, Gary Pinkle wouldn't even address whether he'd spoken to uh, mock recently he just continued to say that when he's back he'll appear on the depth chart he's not on the depth chart this week so drew lock is going to start his third straight game obviously against florida things did not go well for the offense uh they had trouble uh protecting drew lock he was sacked three times hurried five times hit 12 times he finished the game 16 to 39 100 for 151 yards the offense didn't score a touchdown he was intercepted twice one of them was returned for a touchdown but Look, there's going to be growing pains uh, for, for Drew. Um, you know, I mean, he didn't play many complex offenses, or sorry, many complex defenses when he was a quarterback at Lee Summit. Florida did a lot of things he'd never really seen before outside of film study. Um, and so it was, a, it was a growing experience for Drew to be out there and to actually have to try to, uh, you know, read the defense. And, and Florida did a great job disguising coverages, giving him one look, then bailing after the snap into another look. Um, and, and they got him a couple times. Uh, he also had some overthrows, and there's still some things that they're working out, especially when it comes to option routes. You know, and, and what that means is, depending on what a quarterback or a safety does, the wide receiver has a responsibility to make a read and either go inside or outside, or he will alter his route. And so the wide receiver has to make a decision, and he's got to see the same thing that the quarterback sees. And then the quarterback makes a throw based on what he sees. When one guy sees something, reads it different than the other, you're going to end up with uh, some overthrows and some plays that, that look discombobulated. And you saw that a couple times. Uh, there was one play in particular on a deep post where it looked like Ray Wingo broke toward the sideline, um, drew through it deep uh, toward the post, uh, and it was incomplete and incomplete by a wide margin. And, and it looks kind of clunky when you see it on film, but... What happened there is that the guys didn't read the same thing with respect to uh, the, the coverage that Florida was playing. And so that's something that still needs to be worked out. I mean, Drew's only been working in this offense since June, really. Um, he's got a lot of young receivers who are still new to the offense, certainly new to starting roles. And so there's going to be growing pains. But one of the big themes today in talking to Gary Pinkle and talking to Drew Locke was adversity and the fact that you can learn more from those struggles. You can learn more from adversity than you do from having success sometimes. Drew never lost his confidence. Uh, he wasn't down and, and sulking after the Florida game. He certainly wasn't that way on Monday when he met with the media during Mizzou's media day. Um, and, and the other thing that I find very encouraging is Drew is the one who feels like he should be playing at a higher level. Um, he knows that he didn't play up to the standard that he has for himself against Florida. And so I think he's committed to getting better from that game. And I think he will get better from that game. I think Missouri will have a better day against Georgia. Whether it's good enough to win remains to be seen. Uh, you know, obviously Georgia will be without Nick Chubb, but Grayson Lambert's had a very good game. He's very capable. Coach Barry Odom said he's capable of making all the throws. Um, and they've still got some very dangerous weapons, starting with Sony Michelle. Uh, for him to, to utilize in that Georgia offense. So going to be another tough game. These are a couple teams coming off some losses, looking to rebound, hoping that they can stay relevant in the SEC race, which after Florida beat Missouri, you had to think the Gators were far and away the front runners with essentially a two-game lead in the division. But now with the news that their starting quarterback, Will Greer, is out for the season after being suspended by the NCAA, who knows? Things might open back up. Certainly the winner of this game has to feel like they're back in contention uh, for that SEC East Division title, even though it's still a bit of an uphill climb. Uh, so a very important game this Saturday down between the hedges at Sanford Stadium in Athens. For more of this, uh, keep coming back to KennedyC.com this week and read about the Missouri Tigers.